What is going on guys? 223 Frank the Tank here with another Stormworks ship sinking. Now today we've got the MV Gritan flow. It's got a really strange name, but it's made by Steam user Aqua and the the backstory is that it's a ship built in 1910 which had several refits and remodeling renovations whatever done throughout the years and the fate of this ship was that it sank in a storm in 1976. So this is based off a real ship. Pretty cool. It's a small ship, but we're gonna go take a look at it. So here we go. This is my first time looking at this thing, so it's gonna be the first for me. Put the lights on. See what this ladder takes us to. Okay, we got a crew cabin, probably the same on the other side. Bunch of beds. I guess those are the bunks. We got a little library. We got a little kitchen. Very interesting use of the heaters to make it look like actual grill. I like that. Got a little painting or something. A couch. Got another little living lounge area for playing cards and such so let's go back up here oh I fear we're gonna have some issues with this ladder I don't know why he put this thing in front but oh my god <laughs> I hate when this happens alright we might have to return a workbench and respawn it now luckily this is a small enough ship so you don't need to make a mission for it you'll be able to just spawn it using the default island So I'm sure there's not much to see in this ship. It's pretty empty. And it's not really a big ship either. And uh, I'm pretty sure the wheelhouse is up front. Nice. <laughs> Good one. Just fell straight into the water. So we have all these cargo doors up here. Gonna have to find a way down there. It's probably from the front. Hopefully it doesn't have the terrible ladder system and have us get stuck again. So it's got a little detailing, a little post here for mooring the lines and I don't know what these pipes are supposed to be. So let's open this. So this is a radio station. It got updated. Yeah, it got updated with the new update. Oh, cool. <laughs> Got your cameras for surveillance. Okay, what's this ladder go to? Okay, this goes to the wheelhouse. Oop. I hope I have to spawn this thing like 50 times because of how bad these ladders are. So we got more crew cabins down here. It'll probably take us to the engine room. Both compartments, engine room. Okay, so this is where all the cargo gets stored. the door we left open and there's the engine room so let's start the engine from down here actually so there's a control panel pumps all right good to go let's head back over to the wheelhouse if we could get up there I hope now this has an automatic sync function which we're not gonna use today we're just gonna put it through the weather and see what happens so Let's get up here, hopefully. Come on. Oh my goodness. There we go. Wow, I survived the ladder. That's amazing. That's okay. Leave those open for later. Beautiful. Okay, so interior, exterior. We'll leave the exterior one off. So hopefully there's an engine start up here. Scuttle. Power throttle up. Oh, thank God. All right, sweet. So where's the clutch? 
This thing is very primitive, as you can see. It's got a little GPS map, that's pretty cool. So now we're on our way. That's a very small bridge. Again, this is not really a big ship. This is supposed to go... This type of ship was meant to transport uh, grains originally between rivers and lakes. So it's really not even made to go out in the ocean like we're going to take it today. But anyways, it's cool. And I hope that eventually in this game they add rivers and lakes and whatnot. Like, you know, we got the big maps, like, like the big islands, even the bigger islands over here. Imagine if they made like a really big island that just is connected by a river and has a lake in the middle. I think that would be pretty neat. I think people would like to see that. So welcome back guys. We've taken out to the ocean a little bit deeper now. And uh, it started to rain. We're going to see what happens when we turn up the wind. I know this one's not going to be able to handle it as well as... Uh, as the bigger ships I was showing, because this wasn't meant for the ocean, but I have these open, be real cheeky. So we know we did well if we're able to if we're able to <laughs> escape onto a lifeboat. So here we go. I'm gonna turn up the waves. start at 75 <laughs> I, I don't think it's gonna be able to handle too much my guess is gonna sink pretty quickly look those wait I only 75% the waves are already coming in over over the side So I'm not even going to throw a tsunami at this one. I think just the regular waves will be able to sink it. Look at those lifeboats rocking around. We might need those later. We got a nice big wave coming. Oh yeah. They're really turning up right now. Turn up the wave to 100. And the rain to 100. We're gonna get lightning, yep. So now we're really, really screwed. We're in a big storm and a ship that's not supposed to be going in the ocean. So it's raining like crazy. We gotta get out of here. This ship is gonna go down any moment now. So let's run over this way. Don't wanna get swept off the deck either, so we gotta make our way quickly towards the back. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's already starting to flood. It's not looking good. It's all gray and eerie out. Gotta get out of here. So, against the captain's wishes, everybody staying on the back of the ship, ready to go onto the lifeboats. Who knows how long we'll be able to survive up here. how these lifeboats work. I see. We're gonna try and steer into the waves. We're gonna make it back to the bridge if we can. Flooding isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, what the? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why did we move? Oh, I'm gonna try and jump off over here. Oh, this is like an action movie. Oh no, don't go upside down. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> it's like the Titanic. Oh my goodness, dude. Let's try and release one of these lifeboats before it goes down. We don't want to drown either. Come on. Come on. Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. 
Ah, look at that. Just going right down, dude. Right down. What a disaster. This back end is still floating. Let's try and push this over. I really don't know how we're going to do it, but... Yeah, my, my, oh yes, there we go, let's try and jump on now, yeah, my hopes for this ship weren't very, very high, <laughs> so here we are in a lifeboat, gonna try our best to survive this rough ocean, we'll turn down, we'll turn it down, the storm miraculously stopped for us, after the ship sank, so here's this rear end is still floating, hasn't sunk yet being rocked about on our boat right now. The other end is already at the bottom of the ocean. Saw the lights of it. There it is. Fell off our lifeboat. That's not good. There are sharks in the water. Haven't seen any yet, but I know because we're in this game. But yep, we survived the sinking. The ship is officially done for. So yeah, that just shows that this was not meant to ever go out in the ocean, especially bad weather. And that's just what happened. It was about 200 miles off the coast when it got hit by a storm, and that's how it died, by splitting in half just like that. 14 crew were picked up out of the 26, and I'm not sure what happened to the rest. They probably passed away. But that's the story of this very strangely named ship. And um, yeah. I am 223 Frank the Tank. I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, whether it be Stormworks or DCS. And uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and uh, help my channel out. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.